Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you something that you should always do to your snowblower to prevent future costs. And today I'll be showing you how to do this on this Toro snowblower. The same procedure will apply to all snowblowers. So here's what you need to do is get yourself some anises and install it on the drive shaft where the wheels go on. If you don't do this, your wheels will seize in no time. It's going to incur extra costs in the future. It's very important that you use anti-seize instead of grease because the grease does not stay on as good as the anti-seize. And when I do this, I prop up the snowblower like this. It's just easier to work on. And then just reach down and remove the pin here that holds the wheel to the shaft. And on some snowblowers, you're going to have a half inch bolt like this. Just remove it, pull the wheel off. Now, preferably, it's good to do this when you buy a snowblower that is brand new because they do not put any grease or anti-seize on the shaft where the wheels go. If you start from scratch with a new blower, then you know it's never going to seize. This is a used machine. Unfortunately, the wheel is not seized. And this is the anti-seize that I'm using today. You don't have to use this specific brand. Any anti-seize will work. And I'm also wearing gloves because it really sticks to your hands. And then just smother it on the shaft. You can be liberal with it. You won't go broke using this stuff, that's for sure. And now we're installed the wheel. Once you get the wheel on, just spin it like this. It's going to spread it all over. And I even put some on the locking pin because I've worked on snow blowers before and this pin was seized as well. And now just reinstall your pin. And you can even add a little bit extra over here. And then just repeat the same process on the other side. And don't forget the pin on the other side as well. And now just reinstall the wheel again, spin it to get that anti seize all over the place, and line up the holes here and reinstall the pin. And that's it. Now, just by doing this simple procedure, guys, you're going to save tons of repair costs in the future. When the wheels are seized on a snowblower, it significantly increases the labor. And oftentimes, I have to use acetylene torches to get the wheels off. And sometimes with acetylene torches, the wheels still don't come off. You have to sacrifice the drive shaft and sometimes the rims. And here's an example of this. This Arian snowblower here was neglected. It was never serviced. This blower was brought in the shop last winter. I could not get the rim off. I even heated it with acetylene. It still did not come off. So because of that, it would have required sacrificing the drive shaft and the rim and the customer decided not to do it because it would have been too expensive. And again, it could have been prevented by simply adding some anti-seize when the individual purchased the snowblower. So this stuff here, guys, can make the difference as to whether your machine will be worth fixing or not. So if you buy a snowblower brand new, just do this right away because they don't do this at the factory. They don't even put grease in there. And if you don't have anti seize go buy some. If you can't locate any, at least put some grease there for the meantime. But the ultimate product for that is the anti seize And if you live in an area like I do, there's a lot of salt in the snow when the plow goes by. So the salt gets in there and the salt will make it seize even faster. And also all the moisture and the snow melting and all that stuff is going to get in between your rim and the drive shaft and make it seize on there eventually. And as you saw in the video, you don't have to be a mechanic to be able to do this. It's quite easy. The video here, guys, I want to show you my motorcycle. A lot of people have seen it in previous videos. And yes, it is my bike. It's the Honda Africa Twin 1000. And you can look up the specs on the bike online. It's got a twin cylinder. It's a parallel twin side by side. Fuel injected. And this bike is an adventure bike or enduro. And if you're looking for a bike, guys, I highly, highly recommend this bike. And everything's digital on it.
Now there's a lot of other areas on the snowblower that you can put anti like I did today, but for today's video, this is the most important area that I could think of. In another video in the future, I will show other locations on a snowblower as to where you should do that when you work on them. So I do highly recommend that you do this guys to your snowblower to prevent future costs. Thanks again for watching guys. Make sure to subscribe. You can also follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram and have yourselves a great day. Thank <laughs> you.